I think the main appeal is quite often people are looking to utilize something other than strictly medication or some of the other behavioral measures that are out there. The main, the main reason is people feel it has evidence and they feel that it has more validation behind it than some of the other uh, programs that may be out there, whether they be computer-based or neurofeedback or biofeedback and so forth. So people get propelled to it based on research, from my experience. And also, of course, the fact that as a physician, I'm able to say this is an intervention that I know has data behind it. There may be many things out there that may be very well worth trying, may benefit you or may benefit a whole host of, of children, but this, I can say more confidently, we know, has, has research behind it. So I think that is a strong pull for families. I've had mostly very good results. I would say that my results rival what um, the CogMed network has st statistically stated has been the number of children with an improvement, so about 80%, I would say, of my candidates, probably even a little higher, have, have shown improvements. Some of that has to do with the fact also that when somebody does CogMed with me, they're prepared. So they know what it takes, they know the effort involved, they're willing, and their expectations are reasonable it's not equivalent to medication, and many times since I'm a physician, people are looking at this as another intervention alongside with, in addition to, or in deference to medication. So that's sometimes the yardstick. And it's different because it's not the type of program where you're gonna do five weeks of training and then instantly necessarily see all your results. Although I have to tell you that I've had more than one case where during training, a child's grades have improved and there was such significant clinical improvement during training, there was no other explanation for it. Uh, we do keep every other variable the same during training, whether it be medication or behavioral measures, so we know what's affecting what. But um, I've, I've, had, I've had very good experience uh, from the preschoolers up to adults. I've had parents of children work on it, so we've had great improvement in terms of academics at school, test scores increasing, um, behavior improving in the sense of children are listening better, so they're getting to less conflict with parents and siblings and others at home and teachers at school. And children tell me in the first person, I can remember stuff better, it's not so hard, my homework's not taking as long, I know where I put things. Um, in terms of particular cases that stand out, um, I can't think of really one specific one at the moment, but uh, I've had multiple where children have said, told me directly, as well as the parents and having the evidence of all those things I described in terms of their real world functioning with school and sports and home life.